Hello, Joel from JS Construction. Awesome name. This is Joel from JND SEO. We spoke briefly on the phone today. I told you I'd send you this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways you can beat your competition online. I don't want to waste your time, Joel. I don't want to waste mine. So I'll make this as quick as possible. At the end of the video, you want to hear more information. Awesome. Let's set up a, a call. If not, no big deal. Take the tips I give you. Apply them. You'll see the difference. First thing I do want to show you right off the bat is your site is not secure. This will hurt you into Google searches for bringing in customers. Also, um, you know, it does leave you a little vulnerable from other, uh, you know, cyber issues. So um, the first thing I want to say, your site looks really nice. They, whoever designed it did a really good job with that. Um, you know, you got all your pictures up there. It looks, it looks very uh, sleek, very smooth. You got all the services, testimonials. You got all the projects you've done. You got a little bit about your company, your mission statement. That's always cool. And, um, you know, then you definitely could have a little more content. One thing I would suggest is having over a thousand words of content on your homepage. And the reason that we want so many words of content is number one, because it helps you when Google is crawling through your site, they'll analyze it. The more words of content you have, the stronger you'll be rated. Number two is the more keywords, the more words you have on your page the more keywords you can put into that content. So just as an example, roofing Lynn MA, right? The area you guys are located at. And you know, if, if a new customer was searching this, they didn't know who to use for a roof. They need their roof done, right? They're gonna search something like this. And the first thing they're gonna find is the ad section, right? So if you're paying for ads, you're basically paying to be the first thing that a customer would see. And it is effective, I won't lie. These are the new Google guaranteed ads you will get more qualified results than the older ads that look like just websites. Second thing you're gonna see is this map section. Top three companies show up in this little preview screen here, and this is all based on citations. So citations are when you get your business name, address, and phone number listed into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, Yahoo, just to name a few. After that, we're gonna have the organic section. Top, um, you know, if we're looking for this here, Roofing Lynn MA, top 10 companies are going to make it to the first page. So it shows the top 10 results. Google doesn't do this by accident, all right? This is based on a formula that they use for their search engines, which I know that formula, so I can get you on that front page, all right? And uh, so top 10 show up. You will have directories mixed in. If we were, if we were ranking this key phrase here, Roofing Lynn MA, Number one would be Yelp, a directory. Number two, Home Advisor, another directory. Number three, Len Gibley over here, Roofing. Number four would be Better Business Bureau. And number five would be Olympic Roofing. If you go scroll down, there's all 10. At the bottom, there's more ads. Like I told you, these are the older ones. Next thing I want to do, Joel, with the best name ever, is jump over to a program called Arifs. So if I put your website in here, the only thing more important than how a website looks How's it performing, right? That's the key. If it if you have a Ferrari with no gas, what's the point, right? You gotta have the gas for that, which is the customers coming to it, the visitors. So I put your website into here. I do see you guys put some keywords in your headers, which is a which is good. That's gonna help you be found as well. So you got Jay Santos Construction, Framers Framingham, Lynn M A, Roofing, Dex, Porches, basically everything you guys possibly do for your services. What we are seeing here though is this would be where your typically there's a little wheel here a little circle with a number this would be your local um kind of trust not seeing it so you don't really have any right now the dr this is going to be your power behind your site again we're not seeing it there's no real data for it so if you think of the internet as a popularity contest whoever has the most uh votes is going to get the most attention and the most traffic Right now, you guys have two referring domains. These are websites online that have links on them back to your page. But right now, there's two other websites that have links on them to you to you guys. They're sending you guys back those four links. For keywords like we put in roofing Lynn MA or keyword phrases, those are what really bring you the traffic. You guys right now have two that you can be found for, but unfortunately, these are bringing you zero visitors. So let's take a look at your two keywords. Oh and they're not actually even showing up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump to your competitor, Olympic Roofing, right? Nice looking site also. They do have a little more content. They also need a lot more, but you can see they have a little more on their page. We jump over to them here in Arifs. 
217 referring domains, sending them over 3,000 links back to their page. Over 400 keywords they can be found for in searches. That's driving them just under 100 visitors to their site per month. This is on a monthly basis. You can see here the little wheel I was talking about. They have a trust of 34 in the local area with a little bit of power behind the site with a 9. Let's look at their keywords. This will tell us where their traffic's coming from. First thing we see is their business name, Olympic Roofing. 150 people do search this every single month, and they are in the top position for this. So we can tell they're getting probably about a third to a fourth of that traffic. Um, and that's where they're probably getting a lot of their traffic. Also, then they, you also, so if you have this Olympic Roofing, right, that's your name, that's going to bring you your repeat business or referral business, people who know your name, right? So they've heard it before. Maybe they saw it on a sign and looking your info up. But you also want to have keywords that are going to bring in new customers. So Roofing Contractors Beverly MA, that's a great one. We also use Roofing Lin MA as our example. So for this one alone, though, 150 people do search it. And they're ranked, remember we said top 10 make the first page? They're ranked number eight. So they're towards the bottom of the first page, but they did move up one spot in the last month or so. So they're going to get a little bit of traffic, not too much from this by being on the first page. You want to be in the top 10 for all of these keywords. If you can get in the top five, you're going to get a larger percentage. You're going to get more views. And get in the top three is where I get all of my customers. And then they see a lot more visitors to their site. After that, we have Roofing Danvers MA. 50 people do search it. Position number four for that. So top five, that's good. More of their name. Roofing Contractors uh, Haverhill MA. 30 people search it. Number four, top five. That's really good. Um, and then so on. They have Saugus Roofing, Roofing Woburn MA. Just different towns and cities they service. Top 10 for all of them. So you can see they're in the top 10. Most of these are in the top five. That's where their traffic is coming from. All right, Joel, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Um, I, like I said at the beginning, take these tips. They're free. The only thing I ask is I just would like a little feedback for my video here. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.